and you'll have to excuse the beard. It's been a uh, unusual week. But here I am on the hill where I take a lot of my photos and I just wanted to show you and explain to you a little bit about the photos that I took about hmm, a year ago now. Uh, how I took them and yeah, just a little bit about that. So keep watching. So four of the photos that I'm going to show you here today uh, have been taken in this little spot here and I've used this bench a lot in my photography. This is on a little dog park very close to where I live. And I'm very lucky to have the views that I do have looking across the Cook Strait, across the South Island and over to the, uh, let's see, South, North, East. This way I'm really bad at directions. Anyway, so this these photos were um, the first exhibition I ever mounted and you'll see the first one just coming up here now um, and I guess the idea that I had in my mind was exploring the relationship between our landscape and how we tweak the photos that we take in our cell phones or our cameras to get more likes on Instagram for that amazingly beautiful sunset you know that's what people want when they pick up their camera or their cell phone as the sun goes down that Instagrammable photo and even better if there's a handy scenic backdrop and you pump up the colors before you post it on social media because it just needs to look that little bit more dramatic and of course get lots of likes and hearts and I'm really interested in our relationship with landscape and photography and I think that we actually romanticize what we see we try to create these shareable moments that perpetuate our fantasy in this case of New Zealand as we like to see it and a small sequence of four photos finish with questioning really what might await us if we only see the Instagrammable, Instagrammable shot. Uh, most likely, you know, we ignore the people that we're with. We're focused only on getting the shot with our cell phones. And if we're not careful, then that could come back to bite us in more ways than one in damaging our relationships, but also neglecting the planet and the beautiful spots in which we take these photos. Thank you.